Good day students! In this video, you will learn how to solve for the logarithmic inequality. But before we proceed with the examples, it is important for you to take note of the following symbols. The first case is that if v is greater than 0 but less than 1, and the logarithm of x sub 1 with the base b is greater than logarithm of x sub 2 with the base b, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2. So if it happens that the value of our b or the base is in between 0 to 1, therefore the inequality symbol will reverse. So in here, if we have greater than, it will now become less than. Okay? So the second case is that if b is greater than 1 and the logarithm of x sub 1 with the base b is less than the logarithm of x sub 2 with the base b, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2. So if the value of our base in here is greater than 1, therefore the inequality symbol will remain. Let us now proceed to example number 1. We have the given of logarithm of 25 with the base 5 is greater than 2 logarithm of x with the base 5. First thing to do is to apply logarithm of power in the right side of this inequality. So instead of having 2 logarithm of x with the base 5, it will now be logarithm of x squared with the base 5. As you can see, nothing happens in the left side. Next, we must identify the base. Our base is 5, and we all know that 5 is greater than 1. Therefore, the symbol of our given in this inequality will remain all throughout this example. Next, through the property of equality for logarithmic equations, our inequality now will be 25 is greater than x squared. Now, to simplify, it will now become the square root of 25 is greater than the square root of x squared. We all know that the squared and the square root sign will be cancelled out, and it will give us the values of 5 greater than x and negative 5 greater than x. Always remember that when dealing with inequalities, we are not pertaining to a single value of x. Instead, we are creating boundaries to locate the values that will satisfy the given inequality. So in this particular example, negative 5 to negative infinity will be excluded because when we substitute it to the given inequality, it will give an undefined answer. So to locate the other boundary, we will take the expression of the logarithm and determine where the value is greater than 0. So that is, x squared is greater than 0. To solve for x, we will get x is greater than 0. Then we will write our set. Therefore, the solution set is x such that x is greater than 0 but less than 5. Now, observe the checking in the left side. Let us now proceed to example number 2. We have the logarithm of 5x plus 5 with the base 5 is less than 3. First thing to do is to identify the base and we have 5. We all know that 5 is greater than 1 Therefore, the inequality symbol of the given will be used all throughout this example. Next, through the property of equality for logarithmic equations, our inequality now will be 5x plus 5 is less than 5 raised to 3. To simplify that, we will now have 5x plus 5 is less than 125. Then to solve for the inequality, we will apply APE. So we will now have 5x plus 5 minus 5 is less than 125 minus 5. 
Then simplify, we will now have 5x is less than 120. Then, to solve for x, we will apply MPE. Eliminate 5 beside x. So, 5 will be cancelled out and the value of x is less than 24. Now, since we have to create a boundary, we already have one value, 24, and we will find the other boundary. So, we will take the expression of the logarithm and determine where the value is greater than 0. So, in our example, that is 5x plus 5 is greater than 0. Then, to solve for x, we will apply APE. Then simplify, we have 5x is greater than negative 5. Then apply MPE. We will cancel 5. And the value of x is greater than negative 1. So that will be our boundary. Therefore, the solution set is x such that x is greater than negative 1 but less than 24. Now, observe the checking in the left side. Let us proceed to example number 3. We have the given of logarithm of x with the base 3 plus logarithm of x plus 2 with the base 3 is less than or equal to the logarithm of 4x plus 8 with the base 3. The first thing to do is to identify the base. So we have 3, and we all know that 3 is greater than 1. Therefore, the inequality symbol of the given will be used all throughout this example. Next, we will apply the logarithm of product in the left side of this inequality. So it will be simplified as the logarithm of x multiplied by the quantity of x plus 2 with the base 3 is less than or equal to the logarithm of 4x plus 8 with the base 3. Next, through the property of equality for logarithmic equations, we will now have x multiplied by the quantity of x plus 2 is less than or equal to 4x plus 8. Then simplify, we will have x squared plus 2x is less than or equal to 4x plus 8. Then apply APE. We will now have x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 is less than or equal to 0. Because on the right side, all of the values will be cancelled out. Next, simplify the left side. We will now get x squared minus 2x minus 8 is less than or equal to 0. Now, since we are dealing with squared, therefore we are expecting two values for x, which are x is less than or equal to 4 and x is less than or equal to negative 2. Now, in this example, negative 2 to negative infinity will be excluded because once substituted to our given, it will give us an undefined answer. So to locate the other boundary, we must take the expression of the logarithm and determine where the value is greater than 0. So here we have 3 and we will do that one by one. The first one is x. That is, x is greater than 0, and that's it. Next, we have x plus 2. x plus 2 is greater than 0. So, for x, we will get x is greater than negative 2. Then, the last one is 4x plus 8. 4x plus 8 is greater than 0. Then, so, for x, we will get x is greater than negative 2. Now, among these three values, which is the value that we will use? 
always remember that when picking, we will get the value of x that has a greater value. So we have negative 2, negative 2, and 0. So we will use x is greater than 0 and x is less than or equal to 4. To write the set, we have x such that x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 4. Bye. <laughs>